Practices like that really highlight what kind of shape the players have to be in to survive getting on the coach's bad side. That's why every year the team's off-ice training regiment becomes more and more rigorous. Three, two, one, go! Five, go! When I started 10 years ago here, if I would have tried this, I probably would have got run out of town. Um, we did it once, maybe every couple weeks or went to the gym on the guys' own time if they wanted to go. With a 62-game season in playoffs, the physical demand on players is extreme. But with this type of training, the players will reap the rewards down the road. Uh, we're pretty much every aspect of the game, balance, core, just to make uh, them better on the ice all the way around. And obviously the uh, cardio, it's all about endurance and being in shape and being able to uh, get through the 60 minutes faster. Our biggest thing is we want to get the guys ready for their future hockey endeavors. This level of off-ice training and team structure isn't status quo across the league, which is why the Grand Prairie Storm look to the next level to set up their programs. We're trying to uh, mimic the NCAA colleges' uh, schedules as much as possible. They work out every day, they go to school every day, and they practice every day. So um, we believe that 9 o'clock in the morning gets the guys out of bed, gets them moving around. Training day in and day out is tough, but having a couple of laughs along the way makes it bearable. It has to be fun. I mean, we can't get together every morning for an hour and 10 minutes and, and not have somewhat a good time. So it's good for the guys. They try to make it fun and fresh every day. Uh, the spin class yesterday, we tried to make it like a hockey game. The guys can talk during their rest phases a little bit, and it makes the workout go a whole lot, a lot faster. Seeing the training these young men go through, along with school and possibly work, is crazy. That's a lot of commitment. Anyway, that's our show, but on Friday we will take a look at the upcoming AJHL showcase, and of course we'll have a couple more player profiles. Have yourselves a great evening.